are these people? Uh, we're going to start tonight, I know, um, with a spoken word piece. And mm -hmm. we had to decide last think... week whether or not we were going to do this one or Shepherd of Hopes. And I believe we chose yeah. Shepherd of Hopes last time. So um, we did. So we're kicking off with this one. In fact, we're Nina's doing, we're doing a little, a little <laughs> Nina Turner one two punch tonight coming out the gate. Oof. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Hello, somebody rolling right into a painted pool. So, Nina Turner, if you're listening, which I know you're not, but maybe that's for the best. <laughs> right. Uh, let me go presenter mode and then that one. So it flips the mobile one. Good. I got to fix that. This, this was fun, somebody. writing this piece. Um, you know, I got to the end, and like, to, in my mind, this was my Nina Turner piece because I was watching people get all excited as soon as she became active on Twitter again, you know, and people were like, she gets it. See, she's saying all this. She's telling me exactly what I want to hear. What could possibly go wrong? And, uh, and this, this whole piece came about, and then I looked back at it, and I was like, really? What's sad is it could be about anybody other than hello somebody being her you know little catchphrase um this wasn't distinctly nina so then i'm like okay painted pool came around I'm like okay it's time to name names let's let's get a little more specific but this still when you know who i'm talking about i feel like it's uh it's a little bit more <laughs> uh on the nose for her so yeah from uh the Grift Home Companion, here is uh, Hello Somebody. Hello Somebody Desperate. Hello Somebody Gullible. Hello Anyone Left Who Can Swallow the Bait Who Ain't Already Rockin' a Stomach Full. Maybe they knew and they ate it the same because there's no other way to assure that their stomach's full. Maybe they just know that they love the taste so they'll put it away by the shovel full. So hello to somebody trying to feed us the light blue shit like it tastes any different or makes any Democrat any less culpable. Hello to someone who couldn't be troubled to mention a march for the healthcare struggle and spent the day cozy with donors who matter who keep our progressives all wealthy and comfortable. Well, I recommend your protests be anything but peaceable and all your disobedience be decidedly uncivil. You don't need a permit to declare that you have principles and love. It's only natural that seeing all these fascist assholes stacking up the Capitol would manifest in something loud and passionate and visceral. Keep it in your heart because it's the only way we'll ever start to flesh out something livable. <laughs> Maybe that was literal. Maybe our utopia is built from all the sinews of the moderates and liberals, salvaged when they broke their backs with NPR gymnastics, simultaneously hiding from the truth while sticking out their necks for pedophiles, Nazis, and the upper fucking echelon of world war criminals. But baby doll, it's not your fault. It's really all subliminal. They've sewn the propaganda into every thread of visuals, grown the propaganda off of truly noisome victuals, Rows of propaganda propagated out of ritual, straight into your ocular and straight out your occipital, straight up to the point you flip on everything that's pivotal. Any crucial aspect of survival for the middle class becomes the holy unicorn you ridicule and snicker at and praise each piece of legislature dancing round the borders of the looking glass. Well, it's not truly possible to try and stop the suffering of people that you spend each waking moment simply looking past. Walking past a sobbing homeless family, like, look at that. But they'd be in better shape if they'd have voted Democrat. Hello, somebody ignorant enough to still believe that there's some fundamental difference in the moral stance between the couple barrels that they're staring at. Like one's just got a slug, the other's loaded up with sarin gas. Both of them are pointed at your temple, and they're both equipped to make this breath your final gasp. Hello, somebody dense enough to split the hairs of which one is the kinder executioner with what will be their final task. Duopoly 2024, folks. I was, I was about to say, who do I say? Do I say Marianne 24? Do I say Cornell West 24? Do I say RFK 24? <laughs> we're fucked. Uh, hit, hit me with the sound clip. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> there it it's is. American tradition. <laughs> we're fucked. It's an American we're tradition. We're fucked. Yes, 
Exactly. Don't be rude. Um, those two in quick uh, succession. That's that's fantastic. 